In spite of the current methods of INR testing in the physician's office, we still see patients come back with complications of bleeding or thromboembolism because their INR got out of range. Because I do have the system at home for testing, I can immediately test after, you know, something that will change the INR level and uh, we can adjust my medication to make it within the safe range. The studies that have been done documenting the effectiveness of home testing have been done in Europe where this type of testing for INR has been done for years. I think the data is strong and will be easily accepted as evidence-based information for doctors in the United States. If a physician asked me if I would recommend self-monitoring for a patient, I would definitely say yes. For the cardiologist and the primary care doctor, they're extremely involved in following the patient's anticoagulation status and they've developed an infrastructure in their office for receiving reports and interacting with the patient for their new drug dose based upon the INR report. And this will fit in with minimum change in their office practice of how to better care for their patients. You want to empower your patients and this is a big piece of it for them to be able to go on vacation and feel comfortable with the whole process and know that they're safe. That millions of diabetics effectively test themselves for their blood sugar. The reliability of INR testing is essentially the same. Self-testing at home, the INR PT, um, has really liberated me um, in that I have more time with my family and friends. I am freer. I don't have to worry about scheduling and, and being somewhere at a certain time. I've become healthier because of it. Home testing is a win-win situation for these patients because now they have the ability to understand their medication, take some control in how they are treated to minimize the complications of anticoagulation, and I believe that gives them a good sense of well-being.